This video outlines the proper procedure for performing the checking and testing of the Scott NXG7 breathing apparatus set. The sequence presented is optional, but the test is essential for firefighters using breathing apparatus sets. At the end of this video, the firefighter shall be able to 1. Understand how to check and test the essential areas of the Scott NXG7 set to ensure that the set will function properly when used in an emergency. Carry out tests on the Scott NXG7 set to ensure its readiness for use in firefighting operations. Step 1. Do a visual inspection of the BA set or the breathing apparatus set by looking for cracks, cuts, proper connections, dents, abrasions, missing parts, and burns. Step 2. Ensure the straps on the harness and face mask are fully extended. Step 3. A. Depress the air saver or donning switch and B. Close the bypass valve. Step 4. Do a preliminary battery test by depressing the yellow button on the control console once. Look for blue followed by green lights on the sensor module. Note, if the lights go from blue to red, batteries must be changed. Step 5. Turn the cylinder valve fully open. Look at pressure gauge needle movement. Listen for the Vibra Alert and look for the Head Up Display Test. This test is part of the NXG7's self-test of its electronics where all five lights in the Head Up Display for a period of 20 seconds are activated and these lights include four rectangular cylinder content lights and one circular red battery test light. Step 6. After the 20 second head up display test, ensure final reading on the pressure gauge corresponds with the head up display. If the circular red battery test light stays on after the head up display test, the batteries must be changed. Record pressure from the pressure gauge on the control console, not the cylinder gauge. Step 7. Don the face mask and connect the regulator to the mask. Ensure that the locking clip snaps in place 
and inhale. Breathe at three different rates. One, normal, two, fast, and three, deep. Step eight. Place your fingers between the mask and face to check for positive pressure. Step nine. Open the bypass valve and allow air to flow into the mask then close. Step 10. Take a deep inhalation. Depress the air saver switch. Pull the locking clip forward and rotate the regulator clockwise until the bypass knob is in the 12 o'clock position. Then remove the regulator. Step 11. Close the cylinder valve and observe the gauge for 60 seconds. Take note of any drop in pressure on the gauge. Pressure gauge reading should not move within one minute. If it does, indicating leakage, repairs should be made by authorized service personnel. Step 12. Slowly open the bypass valve to allow air to flow. Observe the gauge in conjunction with the head-up display to ensure they correspond. Two green lights indicates a full gauge reading. One green light indicates three-quarter gauge reading. One flashing yellow light indicates half gauge reading and one flashing red light with vibra alert sound indicates one quarter gauge reading. Step 13. Allow the system to flush out fully. Step 14. Conduct a vacuum test on the face mask by forming an airtight seal over the face mask and 2. Inhaling, causing the face mask to collapse around your face, verifying a proper seal. Step 15. Test the pass. A. Listen for pre-alert after 20 seconds. B. Listen for full alarm after 30 seconds. C. Manually activate the pass by pressing the red button on the control console. Step 16. Deactivate pass by pressing the yellow button on the control console twice. Step 17. Replace the cylinder if its contents is below 90% or approximately 4000 PSI. Step 18. Sanitize the face mask and replace the set on the appliance.